Hi, this is Brock and Fitch, and you're watching DJSounds.com. We're at Brighton Coalition doing the uh, Pioneer Record Box demo kind of thing. Yeah, we're getting introduced to some of the new Pioneer uh, equipment, the uh, DJM 2000, and uh, having to play on the uh, the uh, CDJs as well, working with Record Box. So yeah, it's been really interesting, hasn't it? Has, yeah, yeah, definitely. Today it's been quite mind blowing, really. Completely different class. What you can do on these, the preparation work. Um, it's, yeah, no, no question, we're we're sold. We are definitely. Just got to make sure the clubs have got them in now, otherwise uh, turn up with a USB stick and there's no CD. See the J2000s, we could be uh, a little bit stitched, couldn't we? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, a lot of the stuff we do now is on, on the cuff, so we're going to be a lot more prepared with loot, what's working with what. Um, yeah, it just opens up possibilities as well, doesn't it? The fact that we can kind of be more prepared, but also be, be more creative at the same time because of the the like possibilities that are open to you with record box and the, the 2000s. It's just going to it's going to make our job a lot easier and allow us to be a lot more creative, isn't it? Definitely. At the moment, we've both got our own CD wallets. Um, and I think kind of there's always going to be tracks that you know one of us will prefer over the other person. And it's still good to have your own record collection, I think. So I think the way we'd probably work it would be off two USB sticks. But then saying that, until we've really started to play around with it, it's, it's hard to tell, really, isn't mm. it? Because yeah. a, lot, a lot of the music we play, you know, we, we both have. So. It's just a case of if one of us comes up with a method that's really organised that allows us both to kind of you know work together with the same mentality, or whether it's going to be easier to you know, have separate music and have it set up separately. It's really quite a personal thing, I think, how you organise music, isn't it? It is. I mean, the beauty of the two is that you can, we can have a look um, what's on the other person's sound card on the CDJ anyway. So yeah. two two SD cards, two USBs, it's no big deal, is it? Yeah, the label's going really, really well actually. We've uh, we've picked up some wicked tracks for this year. Um, last release at the end of last year, a track called After the World that we did with a really talented Colombian kid, did really, really well. And I think, uh, you know, off the back of that, we're really now focused on what we're going to be releasing this year. Um, we've got a couple of big tracks already lined up. We've got loads of new stuff on the way. We've got an EP, the Floor Players EP, haven't we? Yeah. Which is coming out, I think, two weeks. Some really tasty tracks on there, one to watch out for. You know, the label's going from strength to strength, the licensing's really healthy, we've got some amazing DJ support, really diverse DJ support across the kind of whole spectrum of, of DJs and uh, you know the, the club night's going hand in hand with that and going really well as well. So yeah, we're really excited about this year, aren't we? Yeah, it's looking looking to be a good year. My club night's been going for what two and a half years now um, at Coalition. It's good, it's good. It's quieting down a little, but I think generally that's the whole Brighton scene and I think the UK sort of scene, really. I mean, it's been a bit of a shift away from house, uh, but we're still holding our own. It's still packed most times, but... Still one of the, the busiest club nights in Brighton, definitely, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's good fun, it's good fun. And it's nice for us to be at home as well because it's always one weekend of the month where we can see our friends and you know, not have to, uh, to travel and let our hair down a bit and yeah, in, 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 enjoy it. Uh, the man over there would be, would be pretty good, Mr. Steve Mack. Anyone I think, else? I think, uh, are we talking dream world here or, you know, re realism? Uh, for me, like it would be a, a dream to work with Daft Punk, but you can't tell where they are because they've always got their bloody helmets on, haven't they? <laughs> so, <laughs> but I think, yeah, other than that, there's, lo there's lots of really talented people we'd like to work with us. I think if I sit here and reel them off, I'll probably start yawning.